the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Ladies, today I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I wanted to talk to you because I know that over the past couple of years, we have gone through some things. And I know also in going through those things, I know that we have grown. And so we need to be able to do what the Bible tells us to do. He says that the older women are to teach the younger women. And so that's what I inspire to do. Um, I, I want to share some experiences with you as well as looking at some of the women in the Bible to see what we can, you know, glean from their life and how we can apply it to our life so that we get even stronger. Because I know there were some single mothers out there over the past year, you know, trying to keep your family together. I know that there were some married women and some women who were married to preachers and, you know, that were going through so much. So it's time for us to just step back for a minute, you know, re regroup, and go forward in the Lord. And so today I want to invite you to join me in this study. And I know that, um, you know, God has something for us. And if it blesses you or if you have something that you want to say or add to what we're studying, feel free to leave a comment in um, the comment box. And as the women begin to watch the videos, they can be inspired by your story as well. I want you to know, ladies, that God loves you. He's made us strong. He has made us resilient. Hallelujah. Even persistent because we keep going. So come on and go with me as we look into the word. John the 14th chapter, 12 through the 14th verse declares, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will also do. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the father may be glorified in the son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the assurance that we have that you answer prayers. Hallelujah. The prayer of the righteous availeth much, Lord, and I give you praise for it tonight. Now, Lord, as we study your word, I ask that you would anoint me to speak your word, and I pray, Father God, that it would fall on good ground. So, God, break up the fallow ground and open up our ears, God, that we can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Lord. And so, Father, I pray that you would lead me by your spirit through this message so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, Father, let it be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has certainly fulfilled his word, I want you to know tonight, in that millions of people have come to salvation. And I want you to know every day, people are still being saved, they're being delivered, they're being healed, they're being set free. I saw some numbers today. Someone said that there are 50 thousand people a day hallelujah that are being saved greater works are being done hallelujah because more are being reached for our lord and savior for the kingdom of god hallelujah see we serve an honest faithful god who loves us and gave us the victory and it was won by none of other than his only begotten son, Jesus. I'm reminded of what the prophet Joel said in Joel 2, 28. It says, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Hallelujah. It's amazing what God has done for us allowing us to carry on the work of Christ by filling us 
hallelujah, with the Holy Spirit, which came on that fateful day, that day of Pentecost. We have been equipped with power from on high and access to the throne of God in heaven. Hallelujah. Wherewith the Father is seated. And we can go to the Father boldly. Why? Because Jesus has paid the price for our sins. Hallelujah. So we can come now before that throne of grace and mercy and cry, I'm a Father because of hallelujah our Savior Jesus. And although Jesus in this text, uh, going back to the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter, although he was talking to his disciples, I want you to know tonight, ladies, that we too are his disciples if we abide in his word. Gospel of John, the 8th chapter, the 31st through the 32nd verse declares, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. And I have a question for you tonight, ladies. Have you not only, you know, welcomed Jesus into your life, but have you welcomed his holy word? And are you living by his word? See, there is so much that God desires to do both in us and through us. And so that he will be glorified. Hallelujah. In the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter, our text for today, I like how Jesus took it even further when he declared in verses 13 and 14, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything, in my name, I will do it. See, ladies, don't be afraid to minister to those that need Jesus, whether they need him for salvation or healing. Jesus is just a prayer away. And especially when spoken from a blood-bought believer, hallelujah, that desires to bring God glory. Gospel of John, again, the 14th chapter, verses 12 through 14 declares, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sin. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the 
the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.